Hello everybody, my name is Randy. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Liberty Station. For those of you in San Diego, it's 11 a.m. I know we have people all over the place, but we have a beautiful day that's starting. And what we're doing today is a wonderful class on how to make tiramisu in the way that we do it here at Solari. Of course, being done by our executive chef, Filippo Pacini. Um, I know about 12 or 13 of you came by and purchased the kits. Hello to all of you. I hope you have your kits ready. For those of you that might not know what I'm talking about, is Filippo actually created a very cool kit. I don't know if that will show up. I, we were going to show you one, but somebody came by about 20 minutes ago and took the very last one we had ready today. But basically, in this kit is everything you need to make tiramisu for eight people. Eight people. If you're Connie and I, that's enough for just us, because we can eat four each, no problem. But anyways, everything's in there you need except a whisk and a bowl and your basic kitchen utensils. If you're saying to yourself, I wish I would have gotten one of those kits, you still can. Watch what Filippo's doing today. Take good notes. I will have his class on YouTube. You can always watch it on YouTube, get the kit, and do it again. It's not as fun as doing it live, but it's still good. Anyways, Solari kits. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. And believe it or not, we actually had it available on DoorDash. So over the last couple of days, you could have ordered it on DoorDash, and it's delivered to your house. It's incredible. Anyways, you are now, somebody made this for me. You are now on KSOL TV, broadcasting live from Liberty Station. I think this is so cute. That's our call letters now, I guess. Somebody made this for me. KSOL radio or TV, we're live. Anyways, enough of that. I just want to make one really fun announcement, then I'm going to pass it off to the chef, because that's what you're here for. I just want to thank everybody listening to the sound of my voice. Because guess what? In the first month that we were in this lockdown situation, thanks to all of your generosity, you guys donated and helped through tips and gratuities and other donations, $8,500 for the Solari team. Thank you so much. $8,500. And what we did, without getting into all the details, is that we really made sure that money went to the team members that are not able to be working. So we had a really good formula to figure out how much they worked in the past. Everybody got a percentage. Very fair. But you guys, thanks to your generosity, $8,500 was distributed like a dividend to the Solari team. And they really, really appreciate it, and I just want to thank you for that. Also want to remind everybody that we're open today at noon, so if you want to get some food to go for lunch or for dinner this evening, give us a call, 619-270-9670. Now we're going to pass it off to the man himself, executive chef Filippo Pacini, who maybe just disappeared behind my back, getting one last thing. But anyway, he's going to show us all how to make tiramisu, Zoom in on here, Connie. Show them what the basic ingredients are. If you have your kits at home, get your engine started. We are ready to make some tiramisu on KSOL live from Liberty Station. Yes. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. Good morning. So, you open your box. I I put inside three Savoyardi, 500 gram of mascarpone cheese, and the mocha coffee. Now, the mocha is this machine that is very common in Italy. Everybody has more than one at home, and uh, this amazing coffee. It is the one we use for tiramisu because it's the one that is used in Italy. Uh, is the home, uh, homemade espresso, basically. That's what it is. So, take out the scale, we don't need it anymore. And here, 200 grams of sugar, and 
20 gram of cocoa powder. Oh, now, cocoa powder is a garnish on top uh, when, once we finish. Let's talk more later. But it's bitter and it's a contrast. If you don't like it, just forget about it and you can garnish with something else. Now, let's start the five eggs. I took it out one hour earlier from the fridge, as the instructions say. So now we have to separate the eggs, white and the red, and we need three <coughs> different bowls. Why three? Because we're gonna do this, break the egg, and keep the red. Try to keep it whole. Hey Rope Daddy, thanks for joining. Appreciate you guys tuning in this morning as well as Charlie's Best Bread and Mars Barb 29. Thank you guys. Oh, Lisa, thanks for joining. Medium experience, you're back again. So you got the technique is this. You break the egg and you collect the white and then you put away the red. We do this, so if the red breaks here, you throw away only one egg and not the whole five. Those eggs are from Ramona fresh, deliver every Friday in the morning, straight from uh, Randy, help me out. From Eben, Eben Hauser Ranch in Ramona, um, free range, organic, that's where we've been getting our eggs for five or six years. If anybody on uh, that's watching this would like to ever get any eggs from us, um, we're doing uh, $5 for a dozen, so it's a great price. And these are all organic from a local rancher. Um, the raising the chickens, they would love, love, love to take care of you. And if anybody at Kathy, I see your note here and Barley Man from Escondido, thank you. If anybody would like to get the recipe, more information, just send us an email to info at solarilounge.com. We have a little document just ready to send you immediately. Also, if you want to learn more about the kits after the session's done, give us a call. Uh, we'll be glad to take care of you. Also, Filippo, you'll be happy to know that your amazing wife, your bride, has joined. She's waving to say hi. Oh, she want to check on me. Actually, she said, make sure you bring home tiramisu. Yes, I Okay. Will. My good friend Don just joined. Don, how are you doing? Long time no talk. Now, uh, let's go with the recipe. We have 200 grams of sugar, and we equally that's my, my way to do it. I equally divide on the coffee, one third, and then I put the other third on the red. So now you need a spatula to be sure that you collect all the egg. If you don't have a kitchen knife, it's not a big deal to do with a little whisk and the sugar straight on the bowl. And Filippo, um, Tanya just joined. Tanya was here about a half an hour ago picking up her kit. I'm glad you made it back. Good to talk with you, Tanya. Any questions at all, send them here on Instagram Live or follow up with us after the class is done. Wrong whisk. <laughs> Start slow, mixing up the sugar. Can you see inside? Now, Chef, if there, 
doing, they're whisking by hand. They don't have a KitchenAid or a mixer. Um, after the noise stops, maybe explain a little bit about techniques for whisking at home by hand. So you know what? Let's leave the, the red here and let's do the white. So yeah, so everybody, he's going to show you, if you don't have a KitchenAid, obviously it's more work, but you're going to do this at home. Oh, we have a question here. Um, is it one-third cup sugar in all three bowls? Uh, the sugar I put in the kit is 200 grams, and I divide it in three parts equally. Yep, so 200 grams total divided by three. Exactly. So you're the math guy. Yep, good question. So obviously that would be two-thirds in each one. Carla, thanks for joining. Dave, my wine drinking CPA friends on board as well. Thank you, Dave. I was actually just talking about you in an anonymous way. On the egg white, never add all the sugar at once. Just put a little bit. At least do it on three different sections. So I give you the time to Clean up your uh, each and eight bowl. Hi Sonia, wash thanks for joining. Wash the bowl and be sure that it is uh, dry when you put the white and do the same thing. So now we can now spend more time on that, otherwise we run out. Let's, I have already another bowl, which is clean and dry. And I finish my white here. I just want to welcome Reese6923, as well as Kate. Hey, Kate, welcome back. Don't taste too much, but taste it because it's delicious. If you like more sugar, you can still add a little bit. For me, it's perfect. Now, the mascarpone cheese. 
Hey, Barbara from La Jolla. Thank you for joining this morning. Let's make some tiramisu together. Ciao, Barbara. And Kate Prego, thanks for joining. Beautiful Saturday morning. Making tiramisu, Solari style. These coming together. Mascarpone is a very nice preparation because it doesn't need any heat, so you don't have to apply any heating. You can do on every room of the of the house. That's remind me when I was studying in Siena. I was the last join the apartment and they don't want to let me around the, the stove so to prove myself I use the dining room to do a tiramisu and I gain my spot <laughs> that's a great story <laughs> so this was at a culinary school in Siena oh uh, no that's what, what I tried to do at the university before oh. the culinary school oh okay got it so I'm just curious if you were to drive from your the house you grew up in and you drove to Siena, how long would it take you to drive there? Uh, it's going to be an hour, 15 minutes. Hour and 15? Yeah. So it'd be like getting from here to, sorry, to Newport Beach or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, the distance is less, but the, the streets are worse. So. Yeah. Hey, Leopold, thanks so. for joining. Also, Betty and Ralph. Hey, Betty. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Ciao, Leo. So this is the consistency we want to reach. See, it's a cream. Don't be scared to over do the white. The white we need really, really firm. Actually, my kitchen has a little defect, so I have to lift a little bit, and it's gonna be noisy. There you go. To reach the very bottom. You can see when the whisk do this very incisive sign that is ready to go. Or just make this and if you did it right, oh. it doesn't. I like that. So the test is you put it over your spouse's head and that'll be the test. If it stays in the bowl, good. If not, it's your spouse. So take a bigger bowl. That's good, everything. Now I'm going a little bit faster because I think we're, we're out of time almost. I want to show you the whole recipe. <clears throat> Everything from the bowl, just leave the stainless steel there and that's it. you call this a spatula uh, yep. or this is in Italian is le, sorry, le capentole that means you lick the the pens <laughs> say that again what is it called le capentola so now with a whisk you mix the egg white
And I can do this movement because it makes so fluffy. But at the end, you do. Okay. And that's our mascarpone cream. No more white. That's beautiful. That should be firm, but very, very flat. And now, it's perfect. Let's start build up our tiramisu. Now it's like a lasagna. We make layers, actually. Open your Samoyardi pack. Hey Connie, just you know, Gail and Bruce just joined. Hey, Gail. So. Want to put it in the walk-in? Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. So, you're... so everybody, it might be a noisy for a moment. Uh, we're getting a fresh load of produce for today, so it's being loaded right now into our walk-in, about five feet behind us. One, maybe two, more. And let it rest. So you don't saturate it, One, you just two, get the outer, the rest. outer layers. It's saturate here, so you want a little bit of crunchiness inside still. Let's break a one and I'll show you that's ready, you can see. Uh, perfect. This is going to soak the, the coffee over time. That's mm. why the tiramisu is good, it's better the day after you do. But he never gets there. Because <laughs> you eat it. <laughs> Does everybody know, when you get the kit, as I showed you, it comes with actually freshly brewed espresso coffee here at Solari. Um, all these lady fingers, everything. So let us know if you're interested in that. Also wanted to welcome Natalie. Natalie and Lucky, thanks for joining. And Barley Man says, texture is important. So very true. We have Sean up in the Bay Area. Hey, welcome, Sean. Sean says, hi, Connie. Hey, Sean. So now I need to know how you're doing, guys. You reach this point. We can go ahead. Yeah, for those following along at home, I think there's about 12 of you. Let us know how it's going. If you do need to call, we have people here on the phone, so give us a call. If you have any real-time questions, we can bring them right in to Chef Filippo or send one here, and we'll... Do our best to answer on the screen. Are you just kind of putting a coat on the bottom of the pan? Yes, we mm -hmm. put a very thin coat. Thin layer. Try to make it as much even as you can. Mm -hmm. And then you start lay down your lady finger. Start with the one we broke. <laughs> And Filippo, maybe while you're doing that, for anybody that maybe joined a little bit late or had to step away for a second, maybe just summarize the big steps that got you to where you're at, in case anybody's taking notes. So, basically, we did took the egg out of the fridge one hour before, five eggs. We separate the yolk and the white, and then we did a uh, whisk, so we whip the, the white and the red with one third of the 200 gram of sugar each. One third, it goes on the coffee. If you like more, uh, more sweet, you can always put a little bit more sugar on the coffee uh, or in the egg white, they're gonna be more firm and more sweet. Uh, actually, I want to add a little bit of liquor on the coffee 
you can do the same. Ron or Amaretto di Saronno or Grand Marnier is perfect. I won't do the Grand Marnier. Yeah, Grand Marnier is a great idea. Yeah. After that, don't serve to minor of 21. <laughs> So in this case, uh, the, the liquor is not going to be cooked, so it's going to be there. Right? Yeah. So in that much coffee, how much liquor would you put in it to taste? Uh, three ml. Okay. Um, for um, three, four ml, like a shot in the four hundred gram again. Okay. So just one shot of just to give it a little bit of flavor. Yep. Hey, uh, Show Filippo, guess what? Petra's dad, Carlo, is on the line. Hey, Carlo. Oh, so Carlo lives in for in Florence, Italy, born and raised there. He's joining. So it's a nine hours time difference. So right now it's about um, 8.30 at night for him. But don't worry too much about where you put it. Carlo, I'm sure, knows tiramisu. I'm sure he does. I think all your Italian friends are probably screaming at their phone, no, do it this way, no, do it that yeah, way. Yeah, of course, everybody has his own way. And but you're it. in charge of the microphone, so now it's Chef Filippo's way. Yeah. That's basically the, the base. And then from here you can go with, like for kids, we used to do with peach, peach oh, nice. juice instead of coffee. Or you can do with any fruit and fruit syrup. Mm -hmm. We also have our friends from Rockin' Pine and Poway joined. Hey guys, hope you're doing this with a glass of wine. Oh, we have Bill. Bill just joined. This guy knows more about organic produce than anyone else I know. So I had a Pepsi for me. So cover all the Savoyardi. Now, some put a layer of uh, chocolate scale, so if you want to give a richness from the chocolate, you can do that. I don't. I like the very traditional way. I don't know if we've welcomed Udi, but Udi, thanks so much. Love uh, following you on your Instagram as well. Um, we have Jamie that just joined. They asked what kind of alcohol. So we're not using any alcohol here in this exact recipe, but he was saying that for the amount of liquid you can kind of see there in the corner, that's the combination of coffee and sugar. If you put in like a shot or two of amaretto, then that just gives it a nice flavor. Or more. Don't get too excited. <laughs> My friend Brad, he'd be doing it with a... Uh, a fine 100% agave tequila, or maybe, I don't know, a smoky mezcal. Never try with those. I don't know if that works. Let's stick on the Grand Marnier, I believe. So if I could do a little bit of an announcement, my friend Brad actually just jumped in. Um, if you guys do like these Solari Lives, our next one is gonna be tomorrow. We're gonna be doing a Sunday afternoon happy hour with our Italian wine ambassador, Petra Baliti, and her topic is going to be how to eat and drink like an Italian. How to eat and drink like an Italian. It's gonna be a fun-filled, educational discussion of eating and drinking in Italy. We're gonna talk all about how you can bring the Italian culture of eating and drinking into your own home. It's gonna be a really fun session. That's tomorrow at 4.30, 4.30. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute because we actually have a special kit for that as well. 4.30 tomorrow on Sunday, we have a special kit we'll talk about with uh, Petra talking all about what it means to eat and drink in Italy. And we should get uh, Chef Filippo to join that as well. I'm sure we can. I will. So what are the signs? Tell me again that people come here, but how do you press? See, if it's not soft enough, just go back a little bit, but don't do it too much, otherwise your tiramisu is going to be all melted. Yep, Jen asks if it's going to be five hours long. No. Um, for this Solari Live, we're actually kind of getting into the end game a little bit. And for the Sunday afternoon happy hour at 4.30 San Diego time, 
um, how to eat and drink like an Italian. That'll be at 4.30 and it'll be one hour, one hour. And we do have a really cool um, kit. As you know, in Italy, especially around 4.30 on a weekend, enjoying a nice Italian spritz cocktail, S-P-R-I-T-Z, a nice Italian uh, spritz cocktail. If you want to come by Solare between now and 4.30 on Sunday, or you can get it on DoorDash. Just order on DoorDash. If you're in the local area, it'll be delivered to you. And you can have a, a kit for a Italian spritz cocktail delivered to you or pick it up. Um, and it makes enough for four people or four portions. So one person, four drinks. Four people, one drink. Um, get one of our kits. It's on DoorDash or call us. 619-270-9670. Natalie says, yummy. Saturation 57. Thank you. Hi, Gary. And just you know, Jen is actually dialing in from Pennsylvania. Where in Pennsylvania are you again? There you go. We finish our tiramisu. So the ingredient is just enough for this little pan. Now you can use a spatula to make it nicer on top. You can make some decoration. Or just finish with the cocoa powder that I gave you. If you might are wondering why I ask you to have a strainer handy, and now I show you why. Because you put that cocoa powder through the zipper, and you finish up your tiramisu. Not too much. We don't want to suffocate out of the power. And you want this bitter contrast that comes from the cocoa powder. Now let it rest for at least two hours when you have your tiramisu ready. That is fabulous. Perfect. Yeah, Filippo also has um, a little kit that he can make a Solari logo on there that's really neat. So you can uh, design the top any way you want. You could have it say, happy birthday. Um, do you have it right there? Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. You can obviously make any design you want on there. As you can see, there's just a hundred different variations. It is, yes. So they let's hope that it's okay. My friend Barley Man says that's a portion just for him. So, oh, it came out good, yeah. So this is what he did yesterday. He had a little uh, template, and then he just sprinkled it on through the template. Actually, I want to give you a last trick. So we did it here because it's for your family, and you just dig in or cut a piece and extract it. But if you want to do a nice cake, you put on the pan a little bit of film. So you can extract the whole thing at once. You see, so you lay the film down before you start making it. Yes. So if anybody has any questions, um, definitely go ahead and let us know. Um, we're in a little bit of a wrap-up mode. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Solari Live. Also, we would love to take care of you with any takeout or delivery today. On Saturdays, we are open from noon till 8 o'clock noon to eight o'clock today. Tomorrow we open back up again at four o'clock on Sunday. And then remember, Solari Live tomorrow at four o'clock with Italian wine ambassador Petra. Oh, that's cool, Filippo. And you can finish with some uh, whipped cream or decorate, refill, make portion, do whatever you want. Okay, a couple of questions for you. First question is, do you rest at room temperature? No, you rest on the fridge. Now I'm about to put it there. Oh, a couple of hours in the fridge that makes all the flavor together. Let me change my gloves. Okay, if anybody has more questions on that, let us know. Go ahead. There's a question on where to find the recipe. If you just send an email to info at solarilounge.com, 
We have a sheet all ready to go. Finish I'll try my best to reply as soon as those emails come in. We have a question here from Kate. Um, if you were trying to make a gluten-free version, is that even possible? Yes. Not sure what cookie would be used. You can do it, right? Yeah, you should do your own cookie, gluten-free, and from there, everything is gluten-free. So all you need to do is have gluten-free cookies? Yes. You nice. can buy or do your own. I'm sure if you have a gluten intolerance, you already have your favorite brand. Be sure that the, uh, the cookie you buy are not too tough, but actually the tiramisu can be done with different uh, cookies. Yep. We do often with, uh, with the pavesini, which is a different recipe. We do that in the house, because it's very hard to find here in the United States. But any, anyway, a cookie should be very soft, you see. This is kind of a pan di spagna sponge. You can do a gluten-free pan di spagna and just cut the layer, shape as your pan, and go for that. Of course, you have to use always a mascarpone cheese, possibly Italian, that has at least 45% uh, of uh, grease content. So that makes a little bit thicker the, uh, the compound. Yeah, there's a, a point here. We, one that we need to update is on the sheet we have, we don't include to add the five eggs to the recipe. So I'll go ahead and update that to the sheet. I think we're missing eggs on there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you, Tanya. <laughs> That's a good catch. There was also a question of how soon will this be up on YouTube? I think I'll be able to get it up in the next several hours. Um, again, just send us an email or call. I'll let you know when it's there. Um, we are Solari San Diego on YouTube. All of the other ones are there as well from past um, Slurry Lives. This is one you might want to do, though, so you can follow along. Um, this one is gonna. This one's going about 45 minutes today. Hi, Violet. Thank you. You can see here. Oh, we have somebody. Hey, Filippo, you're gonna be happy with this. So we have a greetings from Oahu in Hawaii. Just so you know, Chef Filippo lived in Honolulu for how many years were you there? Um, two and a half, three years. Two and a half, three years. Chef Filippo was a executive chef at the JW Marriott. So um, he lived in Hawaii. I think that was the first place he lived in the United States outside of uh, Italy. Oh my gosh, mask off. <laughs> Don't you have to learn to oh, eat boy. through your mask? <laughs> I told you. We're teasing you. you got to try it. Yeah, zoom in on there again. I mean, that's just beautiful with the layers. Oh, yum. Go for it. There okay. <laughs> Thank you. My mask is now off for a minute. Mmm. This is really good. That's a tiramisu. You see, now everybody, Connie got some too for energy. Mm. The barley man says that was a huge piece. I don't know. I think it was a small one. Yeah, Gary, a, thank you. Just the trim, which is called the chef part. Once you go and trim to make a cake, you have this much every single cut. Use a spoon to trick it instead of a knife. But you see <coughs> the layer of the sponge is it's kind of a pan di spagna right now, with a little bit of coffee. Now maybe not everybody knows, when you say pan di spagna, what do you, really, you mean by that? Uh, it's a sponge cake. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Now a couple of questions that nobody's asked, but I just want you to, I'll put you on the spot. Yes. So tiramisu kind of translates to pick me up, right? Exactly. Because of the espresso that's in it. Um, I know that it's, I think it's hotly debated, but what is your belief, since you have the microphone, where in Italy did it first originate? Uh, Veneto, for sure. We don't know. It's really, it's really a fight yeah, there. I don't want to get into, because tiramisu is from Italy. It's Italy. It's, it's the dessert of Italy. Is the the love for desserts. It is the most, I think, uh, the most common dessert in the world. And tiramisu has, oops, 
Oh, no. <laughs> I, I dropped it. As the, the mascarpone cheese and the egg and the sugar, that, that's probably what tiramisu, what lift you up. The eggs and the sugar is what your grandma do on a Sunday morning with a little bit of marsala if you're in the south or a little bit of ron to lift you up. And from there, this magnificent dessert came out. Alrighty. Fabulous. So um, we're still here. Um, if there's any final questions, send them in on Instagram Live. We'll answer them. Otherwise, I just want to make sure you know, tomorrow at 4.30, we have Petra doing Slurry Live. You're going to love it. Order our Italian Spritz Cocktail Kit. It's enough for four. I think it adds up to be about $6 a person. Very, very reasonable. I want to thank everybody again, in case you missed the beginning. Because of your generosity, we have raised $8,500 in one month for the Solari team. That's all been distributed, and now we're getting ready to do it again for the next couple of weeks until I can bring everybody back again. Thank you so much for your generosity. We'd love to take care of you with takeout or to go today. And is there any final questions, Connie? Can you freeze it? Oh, can you freeze it? I would, yeah. I rather not. Don't freeze. The point no, is, freeze just it. eat it, it is, right away. He is not gonna get there. I mean, it takes really 20 minutes to do a tiramisu if you have all the, the things ready. There is no reason to, to freeze it and it's gonna separate. Uh, you have three days to eat a little cake and I think you're never gonna get to that point. Nice. And remember, if you want to, you can still get the kit. It will be on YouTube later today. Um, easy to follow along. We do have the recipe that we can send you to send it to us. Connie. Udi is asking, what size pan do I use? Oh. Wait, if you got our key, that's the you half, half actually pan. Get the kit. Yep. It's an half pan. Uh, I show you. I don't know if you were to order it online. I'm not sure what the exact name is. That's the half pan. So if you have a, an industrial one. Exactly. Yep. So you should be able to find it pretty easily. You can always come by Solari. We're more than <laughs> glad to get you one. Okay, we're going to let you guys go. We're going to get back to work. We have a busy Saturday in front of us. I hope to see you guys or hear you as far as um, takeout and delivery. And tomorrow, 4.30, join us. Petra, how to eat and drink like an Italian. Thank you, everybody. Signing off. Thanks, Filippo. Ciao.